we can also rearrange these inputs, these interactions. We can resize them, put them on the same row, reorder them. Now that looks good. Before we begin, we need to extract those values from the pipeline variables, which come from the keyword arguments. And we're doing this so that in case there's no inputs list, we can still extract it from the list payload. And this is useful if you have folks on your team who are technical and still want to interact with the model to extract value from the model's prediction. Oh, before we begin, we actually <laughs> we have to assign the variables. And we can assign them the values that are extracted from the keyword arguments, which include the pipeline's variables or values from the API request payload. Great. Now let's fill in some values. Okay. Six. Let's run that. We get a prediction of 12.5. Great. The original value was 11.5, so close. Let's try the other one. Run that. 25, okay. That's close. Looks good.